Here we go and welcome to the idea of technology. My name is Michael and today it's all about this little completely battery powered security camera from Heim Vision. I know we are currently all in quarantine right now because of COVID-19. Um, this video is recorded in the mid of April 2020, but um, there will be hopefully a time where we can go outside and go on vacation or somewhere else and leave our houses or flats behind. And so this is probably a good timing to think about more security in our houses with a little security camera like this. So I thought um, I will just do a little review about it. So let's get started right after the intro. Honestly, it feels so good to be back. Um, this is now around about 300 days without um, any video from my side. So apologies from, from me because um, I try to make one video a week and I will just try to get into the schedule again. And I have uh, nearly 50, 60 different video ideas for this channel. So um, this complete year is saved, but um, I will just need to have enough time because I'm working full day and as you know, everything comes between it and so I hope um, this will be now more consistent and at least one video a week uh, on this channel. So um, we will see how good this will work out. But anyway, we are not talking about uh, me today on this channel. We are talking about this little battery powered security camera from Heim Vision. It's the HMD2, uh, I think. So a um, little disclosure in the beginning of this video, um, Heim Vision just sent me this product for free and but this is not a biased review or anything like this so I would just give you my completely honest opinion about it. That means um, I would say we just jump right into the review and we will just start with all the specs, go on with the build quality as well as the image quality which is pretty important for a security camera, you can imagine it, and as well as uh, my um, little concerns and little things I noticed while using this one roughly two months now and my little conclusion at the end. So um, let's just get started. So let's just get started with the specs first. Um, when we're talking about a battery powered security camera you can imagine um, the first and most important part is obviously the battery capacity and how long this battery can run the camera. Um, and on this it's pretty impressive. The HMD2 is capable of delivering around about 6,000 milliamp hours um, in capacity. That means it can roughly run about four months. I would say um, um, with roughly 10 um, motion detections a day, but I would say most likely we're, you will run around about two up to two and a half months on one single battery. But you have a different solution to power this battery as well. You can just use the integrated battery, but you can also do something like um, like this. Um, here we have just um, the ordinary power supply for Bluetooth. So um, I think even a little, um, the, the smallest um, iPhone charger with just five watts of power sh should be enough um, to just charge the uh, HMD2 security camera. You can even run it on a power bank like this one here or just a smaller one. You, it doesn't need to be this big. And as well, and this is a little bit special for the HMD2, you can even run it on solar power. Just give me a second. So for example, um, this one here is from Anchor. Um, you can just use a, a more a stationary solution outside of your wall, um, outside um, your, your living room, wherever you just place the camera and you can just um, stick it together and now you can just have in, infinitely a power to your uh, camera. So this would be also a solution, so a battery um, powered, um, solar powered, um, power bank or just even with a normal power supply, um, no problem at all. So if this is not a problem with um, delivering power to your camera, um, talking about more about another specs. And these would be probably a little bit more interesting. So we're talking about a 1080p camera, so it's pretty high resolution. You can have adjusted shutter speed, so it's always just uh, calculating the right brightness um, for your image, so it's not overexposed or underexposed. And when it gets 
too dark, it just switched to IR mode and you have just night vision in your camera. It's not that sharp um, as the, the day vision, I would say, but um, you get a pretty decent image in completely dark um, scenarios. More things to keep in mind when we're talking about this little camera is you get um, this motion sensor here on the front, um, which works obviously in day and night. As well on the back there's a little speaker, so you have two-way two, uh, two -way audio, you can just get the, the audio from the mic when you're on your phone and just listen to the surroundings the camera is capturing as well as just talking into your phone um, via the Heimvision app and just can just tell maybe your kid um, that it should not burn itself, I don't know. Last but not least, and you will probably not mount it inside like I did here in my studio, so it was just perfect timing for Heimvision to reach out to me because I was looking for a security camera here in my studio because, as you can think here, a little bit more expensive stuff lying around, so um, it's pretty cool to have it. But um, you can also just mount it outside. It has an IP65 certification, so it should be fine. You have this little um, uh, silicon knob here on the back which you can just pop open and this way you can reach to the uh, power button as well as to this uh, um, micro uh, USB port like here and the uh, micro SD slot here. So you have two uh, solutions to record um, your footage from the security camera. The one solution is just put your um, SD card in there and just record everything on the SD card. Um, or the second solution, you can go to the Heimvision website or just have it inside the Heimvision app on your phone and just purchase a, a storage plan from their own cloud solution. And everything this little guy records will just directly transfer it to the Heimvision cloud center and you can just download it there if you want to. So what is also included in the box um, is pretty easy. Um, you will get obviously um, the camera, but as well you have two different mounting solutions which I find pretty appropriate for the purpose of this um, whole camera. So if you take a closer look, just give me a second, like this, this looks good. Yeah, this looks good. So you now have a closer look to the whole camera itself and if we take a look on the back here and um, you can see the um, speaker as well and um, this silicon knob for for power um, just securing the uh, power supply and um, the micro um, USB port the micro SD card slot as well as the power button you can see it right here but um, over here on top you will also see that there is a little uh, silicon um, piece here um, where you can just snap in the uh, magnetic um, attachment and I really like the uh, magnetic, magnetic solution <sighs> it's a difficult word um, the magnetic solution because uh, you don't have to um, drill some holes or something like this so you can just use the sticky pad and throw it on your wall um, when it's possible so maybe an outside wall is probably not the best solution for this and you can just use this really strong magnet on the back and just pop your camera to the wall and everything is fine. No wires, no drills, um, just perfectly fine. The second solution, also pretty cool, um, I have it here, is um, this one. It feels a little bit uh, clumsy, I must say, because um, yeah, you have just this piece here, you just drill the three holes in there and I don't like this solution so it's like a ball head you know from a camera maybe your tripod but it feels super flimsy and not pretty secure so um, the camera is a little bit on the heavy side so it because of the pretty beefy uh, battery inside of it but I would not recommend using this solution maybe you have another solution to mount your camera because there's also um, you could say a third solution and um, you can also just use it with this one quarter screw hole on the bottom um, and just mount it on any tripod or any solution for a camera and just pop it on there and it's also ready to go. So this is just everything specs wise and what's included inside the box so you also get just a charging cable but that doesn't matter because I think every one of us has just a hundred cables from USB type A to micro USB so this is not a big deal at all. 
but um, when we're talking about the whole build quality I must be honest and um, for this price point around about 80 bucks um, I'm extremely impressed by the build quality so this is just all plastic but this camera is super heavy and um, for, for the form factor it's super sturdy and the plastic is really thick and uh, I like these the silicone that it's attached here and on, on the back and and um, also the uh, one one quarter screw here on the bottom so this feels just made for a couple of years so I think there's no problem just having this line around and even just drop it for some reason maybe your kid just grabbing it from the wall something like this this just should do fine for a couple of years. Talking about image quality, this is a completely different deal. Um, I must be honest, I was not expecting to get, um, let's say, a cheaper GoPro or something like this. Um, this is just a security camera, so just keep in mind. And having uh, motion sensing, just the camera turns on when it's needed and just recording a couple of seconds. I just set it to, I think, 30 seconds. You can just even set it to one minute. So as soon as it just recognizes motion, it will just record for one minute onto the SD card or just right into the Heimvision cloud. But um, the image quality is totally fine when it comes to recognizing people um, looking at faces and just seeing what's happening inside your, your frame. So the frame is just pretty wide, it's a super wide angle lens in there. Um, not as wide as uh, as a GoPro you could say or just a super wide a super view um, you ha can get with a GoPro but um, it's wide enough um, that you can just pop it onto your wall and have a super super um, wide angle as well as have ability to just see what's happening in this picture. On the other side how easy is it to set up this specific battery security camera because I know a couple of different camera solutions out there where it's just super flimsy and difficult to set up in the first place or even get some things done like um, sharing your your account or your access to this camera with a friend or a family member but um, that that way uh, I just want to have a little minute or two to just talk about the app itself. So let's just make a deep dive into the app itself. Um, somehow I don't have um, Wi-Fi at the moment with the security camera because um, the, there are only specific spots in my studio where I have Wi-Fi and the point where it's hanging it's totally fine but here it's a little bit tricky. But um, what you can do in the app is pretty easy. You can just connect with the Heimvision app. Every um, Wi-Fi um, camera Heimvision offers so you can just scan the QR code it comes with and it's just super easy to set up. I was pretty pretty confident with it. On the downside you need to make um, an account and this is a thing that I specifically don't like at the first place because I think you should just use your camera without making a Heimvision account in the first place. But you know, that's it. It's just live. What you can do is you can just see your live footage in this place um, as well as jo always just making a screenshot. Um, use the intercom so you can just talk into your phone and it will just um, will be come out of the uh, speaker here on the back of your camera. Um, so you can just say someone please do this or don't do this. Um, maybe your whatever your UPS guy is coming to your door and you want to talk to them and say hey just put your stuff behind the, the behind the house it's totally fine um, you can just press specifically record so you can just even say okay I just want now record the next 10 20 20 30 minutes what's happening in the scene not just only tracking the motion detection so you can just set the sensitivity of the motion tracking um, motion detection so um, you can just differentiate uh, when the camera should turn on and why not as well as if you don't want to fiddle around with your phone or with your micro SD card you can just always go here into the cloud section and just activate or just purchase a certain storage plan from Heimvision and everything is done. They even made a little um, discount at the moment on their plan so you, maybe you should just check it out. I will also just put a link in the video description to their website as well as to um, the product itself to Amazon so you can just buy it there if you want. So conclusion time, um, is this camera worth it? The 80 bucks you just need to spend to get one. Um, I must say it heavily depends but for me especially um, as someone who has a dedicated room or studio where a lot of um, 
important or just expensive things are in there um, I must say for me it's absolutely worth it so I can just pop it here on the wall and just have a completely view what's happening in this room as soon as someone enters it and this is just super super important for me on the other hand yeah you can just may argue that there are cheaper solutions out there um, which are also reliable and the build quality is okay but I must be honest I'm somehow um, trust the Heimvision um, brand and what they are doing at the first place as well as um, appreciate the build quality as well as the overall design of it so it's just pretty futuristic and not so so techy like and it just um, feels somehow natural when you just put it in inside your room I think it's not the very best solution when you think about having it hanging outside directly in the Sun I think there are better solutions out there just for ha having like a security camera outside your house but um, maybe you should just um, figure that out for yourself but anyway I hope this video brings a little bit more clarity to you when it comes to battery powered security cameras and maybe you consider buying the Heimvision HMD2 security camera here um, but um, anyways um, if you dislike this video you know what to do but if you liked it hit like down there get subscribed and enable the notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any future video of the idea of technology and I just want to say thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.